friends, Nibs again, <clears throat> out here in the garage, doing a little bit of goofing around, probably going to do a little bit of shooting tonight, but before I got into that, I wanted to do a kind of a product update review for you guys. Um, <clears throat> this is actually something that I was planning on doing at right around the six month mark, but uh, this is actually only five months into me owning this product, but uh I thought that this was a pretty good opportunity to do this uh, because um, this company, Vivor, they actually saw my initial review and really liked uh, my review. It was very honest and, and frank. And uh, <clears throat> actually, the, the very first one of this pump I got was defective. I sent it back and got a new one. Um, and uh, I made no bones about that. And you guys know me. I, I if, I if I see a ball, I'll call it a ball. If I see a strike, I'll call it a strike. And uh, <clears throat> I think they, they liked my honesty about that. But they have uh, asked me to become an affiliate partner for, with them. And uh, they've got some pretty cool stuff on their website that I'll probably be reviewing. I might start a second channel. I don't know. That's... It, it's a long road to hoe to uh, start up another channel, but uh, I know this is dedicated to uh, air guns and firearms, So, but uh, most of the stuff they have there is tools and stuff that I really like too, uh, welders, things that I can get to do reviews on, <clears throat> but uh, they do have uh, the PCP pumps and the PCP compressors, and uh, so I wanted to... Uh, do a, an update review on this one uh, after sending the other one back and getting a new one. Uh, I have been using this one quite a bit. I actually have this other one. I don't know if you can see it up there in the corners behind my mobile there. Um, <clears throat> but I, I got that one initially and then this one as well at the same time. It was the logistics of the shipping and everything kind of was weird. So I ended up ordering two. <clears throat> but I really like this one a lot more. Um, because this one has several features that that one doesn't. <clears throat> and I'll show you those real quick. Um, the things that I like most about this one is the, uh, the gauge on it actually is in an upward uh, fashion. So while you're pumping, you can actually see that gauge and see where you're at. Um, it does have a quick connect foster filling, uh, foster fitting. Uh, on here so you can take the hose off which makes it a lot easier to transport and it also has uh, retractable feet which again makes it really easy to transport um, turn the handle sideways I have kind of a tactical range bag and this one fits right in there the handle is a little bit long just the tip of it sticks out of the uh, the top half of the uh, tactical range bag but everything else packs right up and I, you can hook the uh, hose up at the range. <clears throat> Here at the house, I use my electric pump a lot, but that's kind of really turned out to be kind of a hassle to uh, drag that back and forth. So when I do take my guns out to the range, I just take this, uh, take, you know, 10 or 20 shots and then top them back off with this. <clears throat> Probably the only one that I would be reluctant to use this on is my uh, Shinsung, <laughs> that thing is a, an air hog. Uh, it really, it, it, I have a Hatsan Volt uh, electric pump and it actually took two cycles with that one. It pumped up, pumped up and got to full temperature and I had to shut it down, let it cool down and then do a whole nother cycle to get that uh, Shinsung up to 3000 PSI. So <clears throat> it's got uh, two good size uh, air tubes on it and it takes a lot of air but almost all of my other guns out here are uh, small capacity air tanks and a hand pump is really very uh, most of them are very hand pump friendly and this one does a really good job really quick <clears throat> I am uh, I'm in pretty good shape uh, I'm pushing 60 years old and uh, I'm in pretty decent shape for that old but uh, 
pumping a gun up from from zero I will get winded doing this but it's it's really no big deal um, I do uh, I do work out <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop the video I'm gonna set this up and I'm gonna just show you this in operation um, before I do that uh, so I do have the original hose that came with it and the little filter that came with it but one thing I figured out is I like to have the gun standing up most of the time so I can see the, the gauges and I don't like to lay them down so I ended up getting an extra hose uh, that I can use hook up to those and extend them so I can have this on the ground and still have the gun standing up most of the guns have their fill probe on the end uh, top end of the tank um, and it's really difficult to reach that without a second uh, adapter hose so but anyway I'll stop this video real quick and get set up and we'll I'll show you me pumping my Benjamin Marauder up topping it off it's uh, at about halfway down the green right now so I, I'm guessing it'll probably take about 30 to 40 strokes to top that off but we'll see what it, how close I get <laughs> as far as the guesstimate there so stand by Alrighty, friends so I'm back and I have a little er, set up here hopefully this is a pretty good arrangement I have a second camera that's focused on both of the <clears throat> both of the uh, air gauges and we'll go ahead and uh, I'm gonna bring you down as well so you can see me while I'm pumping here um, but uh, I have the uh, let me bring you down to where I'm going to be working here so here is the the pump Benjamin Marauder over here and uh, I'll show you how I do this so right now you can see the the pump is at zero the Marauder is right about 2,000 PSI, so I'm going to take it back up to 3,000. So the first thing you do is close off your bleeder valve. And it's going to take half a dozen strokes or so to, for the pump to fill up the lines to a part, point where it's actually putting air into the, the gun. So, But you always want to uh, make sure you bring your pump all the way up to the top of the stroke and then all the way down to the bottom. All the way up, all the way down. The first initial strokes are pretty easy, but uh, once it starts actually putting air in the gun, I'll show you a little bit of, little trick that I have come up with to, Two strokes I believe it's starting to come up about to 2500 so that was 30 so what I do when I start getting to this point where it's a little bit more resistance is I pull the thing up and I push down to where my arms are straight and then I bend with my knees and let my body weight actually push the piston down. And my knees are a lot stronger than my arms, so kind of lost count here I think I'm over 40 I'll have to review the tape and put a number here when I'm done how many strokes I actually took almost there
I always like to tr trust the the gauge and the gun rather than the gauge and the the pump. But they they are pretty close. The gauge on the pump says about 2,800, and then almost 3,000. <laughs> Right at 3,000. So now you take your bleeder. Disconnect your disconnect your foster filling. Put your cover back on there. Now my Benjamin Marauder is ready for another another range session. All right, so stand by. I'm going to pause this one more time, and I'm going to get you back to the tabletop. All righty, so I'm back, and uh, I kind of uh, misjudged that amount of strokes it was going to take. Um, I didn't think about it, but the Marauder has a much larger tank than some of the other ones that I've been using to top this off. Still, it was 81 strokes to top it off. And uh, I don't know, I broke, broke out in a little bit of a sweat, um, but uh, it's probably good for me. So, but uh, the one that I was actually thinking about was gonna take 30 to 40 was this uh, Beeman. Uh, this is a 2027 pistol turned into a carbine. But uh, that uh, Vivor will actually top this one up from zero, or not from zero, from a thousand, back up to three thousand in about fifty strokes. So, um, <clears throat> but uh, I've been using it a lot, the Vivor pump, and uh, this one has been very reliable. And uh, I like these features of it. Some people say these things get hot, but I just pumped at 81 strokes and it did not even get warm at all. So, uh, and it pumped my gun back up to 3000 PSI. So there you go. That is my uh, five month review for the Vivor. Um, if you go down in my description below, you'll see an affiliate link uh, that has Vivor in the name. And if you click on that and uh, go to the Vivor website and purchase one of these, I will get a commission. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be uh, promoting this product if I didn't think it was a, a very high quality uh, manufactured piece and, and reliable and, and worthwhile. They're not very expensive. They're 45 bucks, 46 bucks, whatever, plus shipping, I think. <clears throat> but. Uh, also, uh, Vivor is going to be sending me one of their electric PCP compressors to do a review on as well. And uh, we'll be getting that in the next couple days. And uh, I'll put an affiliate link up for that as well. So anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.